Hello there, and welcome to this exam AZ-900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Study Guide. This is episode 1 of 63, Overview. My name's Tim Warner. I'm happy and grateful to be your instructor. Now, I'm a big fan of exam AZ-900 and the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Certification because it provides just about anybody, regardless of whether you work in the information technology industry yet or not, with a ground-level understanding of what Azure is and how it behaves. So what my plan is, is to cover over the course of many, many short YouTube videos, the full skills measured of exam AZ-900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. That overall list of skills that comprise the baseline, general, not even necessarily technical introduction to Azure is what Microsoft Worldwide Learning internally calls the objective domain, or OD. As I said, I'm going to break the outline right down to granular individual skills, and I'll cover one skill per video. I'll include a couple slides, some demo, and I'll always finish with some relevant reference links. Let's get into that demo, speaking of which. The first web page you should have bookmarked is this, the Exam AZ-900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals page at Microsoft Learn. The URLs are pretty gnarly, so I would suggest you just do a Google or Bing search for Exam AZ-900 and you'll come here. This should be your source of truth for preparing to pass this exam and earn the underlying badge. You can see if we scroll down a little bit that the exam costs 99 USD. That $99 is significantly less expensive than the Azure Associate or Expert level exams. And we can see here some links where you can schedule the exam. The exam's available in English, Japanese, Simplified Chinese, and Korean as of this recording in late February 2020. But I wanted to bring you here to Skills Measured. This is the objective domain, and notice that it's broken out into four what Microsoft Learning calls functional groups that are more or less equally weighted. Very important is this Download Exam Skills Outline, which pops open a PDF file that breaks down the full outline. Now, what I've done is taken this outline, every single heading and subheading, and put it into an Excel sheet, where I've started here in column A with the functional group, that's the top level of the objective domain. Then we have objectives, and then we have granularly, skill by skill. And yes, I'm gonna make this spreadsheet available to you. Hang on for the next episode. I guess I'm gonna give you a little teaser there. But in episode two, I plan to look at row three of this spreadsheet, and we'll cover the skill understand terms such as high availability, scalability, elasticity, agility, fault tolerance, and disaster recovery. And that's all we'll do in episode two. You like it? Cool. Well, I hope you're excited about this. I also want to give you a heads up of the Microsoft Learn site. This is a free educational portal filled with self-paced learning modules and labs. What you want to do is log in with your Microsoft account to track your progress, and you'll want to look up the learning path called, appropriately enough, Azure Fundamentals. This is a fantastic path. For instance, I do most of my computer-based training, well, effectively all of it besides here at YouTube, for Pluralsight.com. That having been said, keep on the lookout at Pluralsight because we do, in fact, plan to have computer-based training to supplement this. As promised, I want to give you some study resources. Basically, I've just created short links to those two pages I showed you in the demo. A short link to the exam AZ-900 page is timw.info forward slash 900. A short link to the Azure Fundamentals Learning Path at Microsoft Learn is timw.info forward slash AZF. Cool. Well, this was an especially brief video because it's just letting you know what's to come going forward. I fully intend to cover the entire exam objective domain, but I need your feedback to make sure that I'm doing it well. So let me know in the comments here, or if you want to reach me at Twitter, I'm at Tech Trainer Tim. You can check out my Microsoft Azure courses at Pluralsight at timw.info forward slash PS, and my website is techtrainertim.com. Thanks for your participation. Take good care and happy studying.